So we've been out here, you're at home, Cortez, we've had a visitor out here. Hayden Deegan, Danger Boy. How's he doing? Hayden's How's been out here, so uh, he's been out here a couple weeks and getting to feel like what, it, what it's like to ride a dog if you're on a 250. Yeah, okay. It's tough out here in the elevation. But. Does he got the dog in him though, Max? He does. He's been the best 250 guy we've had out here ever. Are you guys cool? You guys boys? Shoot. I'd say we're boys. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're cool. <laughs> what's up, dude? What's up, sir? <laughs> so what's going on, man? You've been out of Tomax. Dude, just the training. I mean, you get a ride with Eli Tomac, you get a train of Johnny T, so it's uh, it's been good. Is this going to be beneficial for you? Oh, 100%. I mean, this is like the next level, you'd say. Train elevation, stamina's there, and you're training with the best. Ripping with Eli, you got to keep him young. You got that 500. Yep. We didn't lose him, did we? <laughs> the 500K? Yeah. Spent it already. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it's... <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to get a house, rent it out, make some more money. And then, hey, and then you won the million, right? Did you win Monster Cup? What'd you do with your mill? <sighs> that one, dude, I actually went and bought a car. I did okay. what you're not supposed to do. I went and bought the GT3 RS. <laughs> that one was actually an investment. That, that sucker's gone up. You know, you guys have gotten big purses. What's your advice for Danger Boy managing his money? Well, here's the deal is you got to put that money to work, right? So he's on the right track. So. Just make sure you have enough. You kind of get stupid money, then you go buy the stupid toys. Did you ever hit the Gucci store, Tomac? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 when I was 18, whatever, 18, yeah. 19, yeah, I'll be straight up, yeah, I hit the Gucci store. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, danger, you're good. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm good, I'm solid, we're good. We're on the right track. <laughs> All right, let's go ride. Yes, sir. John, Check how's it been having the, the Deegans out here? Uh, it's a little more action than normal. <laughs> how's uh, how's Hayden doing? It's been fine. He's done really well, yeah. It's been great to have him out. Were you so. impressed? Yeah. Yep. He did good. Was he respectful? Uh, yes. Okay. I like that. Bless your boy. Respectful. <laughs> I never thought we'd see the Deegan and the Tomax out together doing this. Yeah. So, Brian, did you enjoy it? Yeah, for sure. What it's about been Cortez? A super good experience. Yeah. You gonna it's... buy a crib out here or what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure, I can get the wife to move out here, but yeah, it's definitely peaceful out here. That's for sure. John, do you like Florida? Not really. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I just don't like that swampy stuff. Yeah. Too humid. Yeah. You too like, low. You like Florida? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on the Florida program. Angie, you like Florida? <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's, I gotta like it no matter what. <laughs> so when all said and done, Brian, where are you gonna end up? Jeez, like, that's you've a, been everywhere now. Like, like, where do you want to be? Literally everywhere. That's a tough question. Like, we really like North Carolina, but I don't know. I feel like the altitude is such a good thing, and so I think it's the first time Hayden's really trained up here in the altitude. But 
That's going to be a decision I think Hayden's going to have to decide eventually. You know, Me and my what? wife eventually get a little crib down in Colorado. There you go. See? That's the first. So, yeah, it's going to be a while, you know? All right, boys. Well, thanks for having us out here. We're stuck to see you guys together, and this was sick. Yeah, sure. thank you. I mean, I'm going out there just because I, I don't want to finish that way. As a racer, as a competitor, dude, that was like, like the worst nightmare. You know, you're at, you're at like the top, you're at the pinnacle, right? And then like, you're about to get that and it's just gone. Something big has happened, he's shaking his head. He can't believe it. I went out getting just straight up robbed. It's over here at home for Eli Tomac. Like I was just riding around the track in first place. It's like, dude, I'm not going out like that. That was my goal all along. It's like, if I can be on the Supercross track at six months, then I'm gonna be in good shape, which was basically November 1st. And we're there now. So I wouldn't say it's been harder, a harder recovery than say like my shoulder surgery. So dude, like if you blow out your Achilles, I know it's possible to come back. Right now it's probably 95%. Like I, I need to get a little bit, a little bit there, but I, I have that time. Like I've got, uh, you know, six weeks. Can you win a title this year? I don't want a title this year, that's the goal.